माय सेल्फ एम ए महंत वर्किंग इन कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन वालचिन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक मैनेजमेंट इश्यूज इन आई इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर learning outcome at the end of the session student will be able to describe about management issues and solutions in it infrastructure first we are going to see challenges of managing it infrastructure in an organization creating and managing a coherent it infrastructure raises multiple challenges the first one is dealing with platform and technology change including cloud and mobile computing second one is management and government governance and third one is make making wise infrastructure investments so now we are going to see one by one dealing with platform and infrastructure change as firms grow they often quickly outgrow their infrastructure as firm as firm sh shrinks they can get uh, stuck with ex excessive uh, infrastructure purchased in uh, better times how can a firm uh, remain flexible when most of the investments in it infrastructure are free are fixed cost purchases and licenses how well does the infrastructure scale the scalability refers to the ability of a computer product or system to expand to serve large number of users without breakdown new application mergers and acquisitions and changes in business volumes all impact computer workload must be considered when planning hardware capacity firms using mobile computing and cloud computing platform will require new policies and procedures for managing these platforms they will need to uh, inventory all their mobile devices in business use, use and develop policies and tools for tracking updating and securing them and for controlling the data and application that runs on them firms using the cloud computing and saas will uh, need to fa fashion new uh, contractual arrangement with remote vendors to make su uh, sure that the hardware and software are critical application are always available when needed and that may meet corporate standard for information security the next one is management governance a long standing issue among infrastructure or information system uh, managers and ceos has been the question uh, of who will control and manage the firm's it infrastructure other important question about it governance are should departments and divisions have the responsibility of making their uh, own information technology decision or should it infrastructure be uh, centrally controlled and managed what is the relationship between the central information system management and business unit of information system management how will infrastructure uh, cost will uh, be allocated uh, among business units each organization will need to arrive the answers based on the, uh, their its own needs the next one making wise infrastructure investments here it infrastructure is major investment of the firm if too much is spent on on infrastructure it is it lies idle and constitutes a drag on the firm's financial performance if too little is spent uh, important business services cannot be delivered uh, the the firm's competitors will uh, out, out outperform the un, uh, under investing firm so how much should the firm spent on it infrastructure here a related question is uh, whether a firm should purchase and maintain its own it infrastructure components and rent them for external supplier including uh, those offering cloud services here the the decision is to purchase your own it sets or rent them for external provider typically called the rent versus buy decision so here the cloud uh, computing may be a low cost to increase the scalability and flexibility but firm should evaluate this op opinion carefully in light of security requirement and impact of business process processes and workstations or the workflows the next one is the cost of ownership of technical technology assets so here 
this uh, total cost of ownership of technology asset is the actual cost of owning technology uh, resources including the original cost of acquiring and installing hardware and software as well as the uh, on ongoing administration cost for hardware and software upgrades, maintenance, technical support, training and even the utility of real estate cost for running the housing the tech, uh, technology. The total cost of ownership can be made uh, to, any, uh, to analyze this direct and indirect at cost to help the firms determine the actual cost of specific technology implementations. So uh, next table is shown some important uh, TCU uh, component to consider the TCU uh, in a TCU analysis. So total cost ownership te technology assets. Here gains in productivity and efficiency for uh, from equipping employees with mobile computing devices must be balanced against the increased cost of it integrating these devices into firm's IT infrastructure and from providing technical support. Other cost of compound include the wireless airtime end users training help desk support and a software for special application. So it is possible to reduce the sum of these administration cost through the uh, betterment better management. So many large firms uh, with the redundant uh, incompatible hardware and software because of their department div and divisions have been allowed to make their own technology purchases. So these are the total cost ownership cost components. For uh, here left hand side is infrastructure competition, right hand side cost competition. So hardware acquisition, purchase uh, price of computer hardware equipment including computer terminal storage and printer, software acquisition, purchase of license of software of each other, uh, each user, installation, cost of install computer and, computer and software, training, cost to provide the training of, for information system specialist and end user support, cost to provide the ongoing technical support, help desk and so forth, maintenance, cost to upgrade the hardware and software, infrastructure, cost to acquire maintain support related to infrastructure as the networks, special equipment, space and energy, uh, uh, real estate and utility cost for housing and providing power for the technology. So competitive forces model for IT infrastructure investment. So here the market demand for uh, for your firm's service makes inventory of services you are currently provide the customer, supplier and the employees. Sur survey each group or hold the focus groups to find out the services you currently offer are meeting the needs of uh, each group. For example, a customer complaining uh, of slow responses to their queries and prices and availability uh, are, are, em are employees complaining about the uh, difficulty finding of right information for their jobs and supplier complaining about the difficulties of discovering your production requirements. The next is competitive forces model for IT infrastructure investment. So first is your firm's business strategy. Here you analyze your firm's five, five year uh, business strategy and try to access what new services and capabilities will required to achieve the strategic goal. The second is your uh, firm's IT strategy, here infrastructure and cost, examine your firm's information technology plans for the next five years and assesses its uh, alignment with the firm's business plans. Third one is information technology assessment, uh, is your firm behind the technology? curve uh, or at the bl uh, bl blending age of uh, information technology, both the uh, situation are we able to avoid it, it is usually uh, not desired to spend uh, resources on advanced technology that are uh, still experiment, uh, often expensive and sometimes unreliable. The next is uh, the competitive uh, firm services try to assess the technology services competitors offers uh, the customer supplier and the employees establish qualitative and quantitative uh, measure to the compare them to those of your firm. Next is competitor firm IT infrastructure investment benchmark your, uh, your expenditure for IT infrastructure against your comp competitors 
many companies are quite public about their uh, innovative expenditure on it this is a diagram of competitive forces model for it here the uh, firms it and infra services can be shown first is market demand for your firms uh, customer service supplies enterprise service the second one is your uh, firms business strategy third one is your firms it strategy uh, infrastructure cost fourth information technology fifth competitors firms services sixth one is compete competitor uh, firm it infrastructure investment so after all your all these element provide the your firms it service and infrastructure to the organization then challenges of managing it infrastructure and managing solutions so so main major challenges including dealing with platform and infrastructure change infrastructure management and governance and making wise infrastructure uh, investments solution of guidelines including using a competitive forces model to determine how much to spend on it infrastructure and whether to make strategic infrastructure investment and establishing the total cost of ownership tco of information technology asset the total cost of owning technology resources including the not only the original cost of computer hardware and software but also the cost of hardware and software upgrades maintenance technical support and training now i am asking question to all the students dash refers to the ab ability of computer producer or system to expand to serve a large number of users without breaking down option is scalability option b reliability option c portability option d maintainability so the correct answer is scalability so scalability refers to the ability of computer products or system to expand to serve a large number of users without breaking down these are the references thank you